My Locals is returning! I am so excited for this. What is up guys? Imgo for here. We're going to be talking about, well, what do I pray, pray, play? What do we play pre-eternity code? What are we going to play post-eternity code? Because all I got is rocks on the mind. Uh, my body's not made like a rock, but that's fine. So, guys, let's dig into this, shall we? I got the house to myself. So, all right, so pre echo, what are we looking at here? I got my invoked core. All right, so we can play some invoked with my Eldritch deck. All right, so we picked up Eldritch very early in the deck's life. We also picked up the Adam Emancipator core. You're probably like, Robbie, why aren't you playing Adam Emancipator at this point? Because I gave my friend the core so he could play it. I, uh, I'll be honest with you, when Crush Card started, I had zero intent to Reno to be playing Eldritch competitively. I just picked up the deck, so it was a stun deck. You know, hi, I'm a stun player. Unga Bunga. Easy play deck. So I picked up this deck and I was like, all right, cool, it's a stun deck. We'll put it on the back burner. But all of a sudden, I have to play pre Dragma. All right. Now let me tell you what my roster of decks <coughs> includes from. See that fat? Uh huh. From uh, from my streams here. So, <clears throat> oh, sorry. That's a. Uh, let's uh, hold on. We got a we got a fifty page document here <clears throat> of decks that I can play. Okay, number one, Control Eldritch. I'm really bad at the deck, but we can play that. Number two, Dragma Invoked. Oh well, can't play that one yet. Numeron Burn. Oh, can't play that one either. Evil Swarm. In a room where there's only one person, or maybe two people, that are going to have the Adam Emancipator deck, we're not playing Evil Swarm. Number four, Stun. God Slime doesn't exist yet. <clears throat> Can't play that. <clears throat> Zodiac and Zodiac Eldritch. Well, I mean, we could technically play Zoo. Um, sticking all my monsters together to make a big machine go burr. Pretty easy. Also says former Sky Striker player down here. I'm not quite sure what that means. I'm pretty sure that that means we could play Widow Anger the deck, but why would I do that? All right, so pre Mr. Link Ross and all the shenanigans out there for Eldlich, it's looking like we got like three paths we can go down. All right, so like oh, also there's a side note down here. It says Stun Dragon Maid on here, but uh, nobody likes my Dragon Maid list, so we'll talk about that later. If you guys want any of those decks, by the way, I just went off of, you know, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll be more enticed to want to post them outside of stream. So looking at how things are going right now, if there's only going to be one or two, maybe three out of Emancipator players in the room, uh, maybe, I, I don't think there's anybody else besides maybe two people that have Eldritch, so I'm not too worried about the Eldritch mirror, but I think that... Control Eldritch might not be the best pitch for this here. Um, I do think that Control Eldritch is... It's alright. It's definitely the worst of the variants. Like, being honest, like, Pure Eldritch is pretty bad. I, I guess, like, I could play Mayakashi Eldritch, but... Uh, no. I already, I've already had flashbacks to what uh, Home Depot was making me play during some of the stream. Rivalry of the Warlords plus Zombie World, go burr. It's how you win in a custom deck building challenge that you have to do for a regional. Zombie World plus Rivalry of the Warlords is GG. Alright, like, good luck. Have fun breaking that. So, look at my Eldritch variants here. I think we're going to go down probably the Invoked path. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, I'm pretty dumb at Yu-Gi-Oh! Pre-Dragma. Alright, like... There's a reason why I was avoiding this format and I haven't played anything online, but all of a sudden I'm going to have to learn. So I think we're going to go with the Invoked variant. One, because the raw card advantage of the deck is good. Makaba is easy to play and the Eldritch cards are really easy. But there was a list for Synchro Eldritch that showed up post, this is actually quite hilarious, 
came up post Echo. Um, it did well at a PPG. It was playing Axis Code Dogger, which I can sub out for what's a call, um, for Boral Sword or something. But this list was not playing Link Ross. All right, and this was something else I had on like the mind. But I'm not sure if we have tunings, desk bots, two O lions, because you know. My compatriarch over here, who wants to be playing at Emancipator, I only have so many O Lions, you know, pre O Lion reprint. So I kind of got to pick and choose for the time being. Though we do have Magician Souls, a former Spiral player here. All right, the only good thing that came out of that deck was, well, we kept the Magician Souls in case we ever wanted to play Pure Dark Magician. Like, that's why you keep them, right? Not because I want to play them in my Eldritch deck, draw cards. So. It's kind of what we're going towards here. Now, post Etco going legal, I think it's what? Two weeks? Maybe two and a half? Maybe three? I don't know, whenever Old Lich goes legal, I'll probably revisit this statement and go, Guys, I don't know what I'm going to do! My Old Lich deck is bad! <laughs> uh, I mean, we, we get to play Dragon Maid, we, we get access to trap tricks. Um, I'm not a Mech Knight player, so we're not touching that. I'm not playing Dinos. Um, okay, so back to point one and two here. We can play Dragon Maids for our locals, and we can play Trap Tricks for our locals, George. Uh, those are viable options that we have, but to be perfectly honest with you guys, eh, I don't know. I, I guess, like, the biggest thing I need to gauge right now is how many Rock Players am I going to have? How many Mirrors am I going to have to play? Because, truthfully, what is it, the, uh... The invoked deck with token collectors and stuff in the cheese side. I, I have infinite bulk from MP19, so my token collectors are gonna look like poop in their common form, but that's fine. Actually, they may be 18. I don't know. Whenever a uh, stupid token collector came out, we'll have plenty of those, so I'm not too worried about that. But once again, it's like, what is my metagame gonna be like? Uh, these are the questions you're gonna have to ask yourself if you get the chance to to resume. I know some of these more hotspot areas and things aren't even going to get the chance to do anything anytime soon, but I'm going to be honest with you. When you're as rural as Indiana, like, we're already going to 75% maximum occupancy here soon, and I get it. I know there's going to be a couple people out there that are like, Robbie, you shouldn't be going to locals. It's not safe. Man, everything's already six feet apart out here in, in Bumble nowhere. All right, I'm not worried by any stretch of the imagination. So, just that. But guys, honestly, if you get the chance to resume playing, like, in a local format, like, online everybody has access to everything. Everybody and their mother can be playing at Emancipator. When you return back to a local scene, you're literally, you have to ask yourself, what do I, like, what is my meta? Like, I don't even know what to expect at this point. Like, I'm expecting Shadal, because, like, that's where we kind of left off. We we literally left off with Shadal invoked. So I guess I should be prepared to walk back on into Rocket Link, you know. Oh, man, Shadal's. I guess Solid was, Solid was something I, I dealt with every once in a while, but the question is, like, who got what pre and post? I don't know. It's a, it's an interesting topic. So, guys, please give me your thoughts down below. I, I would like full input here. Somebody's going to literally comment and go, who cares if God Slime's not legal? Go ahead and play Stun Rabby. Play what you're good with. I'm be like, no, I don't want to. Like, wholeheartedly and honestly, like... Evil Swarm was looking like, like, this brick, this, uh, this was looking like a snack. Like, we, uh, we have, uh, oh, the, you didn't get to see the proxies, they're actually in the deck. Like, I, I have all of this stuff put together. I mean, it's like, this doesn't have a side, but I think I have, like, seven decks put together. All of them are, like, complete minus extraves, like, the extraves move in between the stun variants and things. And Eldlich is pff, Eldlich is really far behind. Like ironically, our Animancipator deck and our Rock and our uh, Eldlich decks are like super far apart. Like 
my whole invoked core is with the Dragma core that's proxied for August playtesting, which I've been doing, but story for another day. So guys, comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and well guys, I'm out. Peace. Thank you patrons for making the ride never truly end. Without you guys' support, well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vancall 40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcall 40 and if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcallgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.